Hello and welcome to my knitting podcast. My name is Yolanda and I'm coming to you from the Netherlands. Today is Monday and I like to do a short video on Monday to um, show you what I've been up to the last week. So uh, I hope you're all doing well. I'm fine. I'm doing much better now. And I have some things to show you. Good and bad. Um, what I'm wearing is an old finished object. Uh, it was a yarn I got from one of my sons and I spun it up. It is a uh, merino silk and I had to look for the perfect project. I remember this was a free pattern. I will put it on the screen for you what the name is because I cannot remember. It's pretty old. Um, it was... I think it was in pieces and I uh, made it in a one... Um, Wow, the words. It's a, it's a uh, construction where it's all together, a one piece project. The words are apparently a problem today. It is still uh, very early, it's 9.30 and um, I have one son uh, homesick. He has COVID. He is almost recovered, but not completely. And my other son is already at his work. So, I do have a finished object, and it's probably not a surprise. It's the Jaden sweater by uh, Isabel Kramer, and I used it as a template, and I used the stitch patterns of another sweater, and I, I guess I said it was a free pattern. It was not, I'm sorry, but there are many drops patterns who also have uh, these stitch patterns. You can just uh, plug into your own sweater. The reason I did not use those patterns, most patterns were with a heavier weight yarn and they were drop shoulders. And I'm not such a fan of drop shoulders, especially if you wear it under a jacket. Uh, maybe it's, it's just something I decided and it's totally not true. But hey, that's, that's what I was looking for. Uh, so I chose the Raglan sweater, which is the Jaden. A pullover and that is a man's sweater so I finished it uh, what can I say it is a little less of 400 grams uh, yeah I I went down at least two needle sizes for the ribbing so it is uh, nice and, and tight I think I also could have done um, just a few decreases just before the, the ribbing. I, uh, I heard it in another podcast. I think that is a very good idea. And I actually did that with uh, one of my uh, recent sweaters. I will see how that, uh, that will look. So yeah, this is a really soft yarn. It is uh, hand dyed by me. There is a lot of color difference, unfortunately. So I made it... Um, kind of the stripy look um, so every section is uh, bordered by some garter ridges and then and that's where the point where I chose to um, change to another ball so yeah it is very soft it's not blocked yet I will definitely do that but the weather is uh, very humid and cold that it's very hard to dry anything let alone uh, wool that will absorb very much so much water it will take forever but I saw today uh, this week we will have some uh, warmer weather 20 degrees it's, it's crazy it's it's half October and suddenly there is spring weather coming along so that is that is a finished object I'm very happy with that because they were piling up the, um, the works in progress um, another thing I was talking about last time was the fairy tale. I have been working on it somewhat. Um, I finished the body and I did the, uh, the, the bottom lace section. So this is, uh, the body is finished and I started one of the sleeves. So this is a pattern by knitting for breakfast. And the sleeve is coming along nicely. Uh, originally, the sleeve has some decreases. I decided to do to not do that. I want the sleeves to be 
a little wider at the end. So, and then the, uh, at the end of the sleeve, there will also be some lace. So I guess this will definitely be something you have to wear something underneath. So I thought the wider sleeves would look, uh, would look nice. So the pattern is by Knitting for Breakfast and I use Drops Nord, which is still one of my favorite yarns. It's drapey, it's very soft and it's, it, it is very affordable. And for a very affordable yarn, it is a real good quality because I don't have a, a lot of pilling or anything like that. It's, uh, it's really nice. So that is what I've been working on. <clears throat> it is a nice loose gauge of uh, and the needle is four millimeter. So then I have been working on the champagne sweater from Sari Nordlund. That is a, a, such an enjoyable knit, even though it, it needs all kinds of charts. It uh, is so well written. And she, she figured everything out for you. So uh, you start a chart at row six or 10 and then make a note of this and that. Well, it is, it is a, a, um, it's a more complicated pattern. It should definitely something you have to concentrate on and not watch TV or anything, at least not for me. Um, I just came at the point where I uh, put the fronts together. So they are connected now and I will continue knitting until the increases for the, uh, well, the, the sleeve, um, what forms the sleeve, the armhole. Yeah. <laughs> so this is really pretty. It's the peach color from Drop Snort. And this is an amazing, such a beautiful pattern. So this is lace and cables. Um, if you can do both, the pattern is very straightforward. Um, the, the, the charts are very, very doable. So I'm enjoying this. I was working on it last night and it became quite late, at least for me, um, because it is so addictive. I just wanted to connect the fronts and then see how it goes and then I was now okay stop now go to bed there isn't there is a tomorrow so um, yeah I really enjoy this so I have a very pretty yarn ball for this and this one I uh, bought a few years ago while my mother was still alive she uh, gifted me money and I bought this uh, of Etsy so yeah that is it is really uh, really pretty so there is my yarn living in and my project while it still fits so that was the champagne champagne sweater from sari northland I, i'm sure you have seen it come along and then there is another sweater which did not go so well i remember to i talked to you about it last week it was the chambray by emile louise and I started it and to get gauge, I chose a too small a needle size, so I had to go up to the original needle size, which I made a gauge swatch with. Um, so I re knitted that and I just loved it. I tried it on. I have some pictures for you here. It looked really nice. I thought the color was amazing, uh, the fit was nice, and then I started to sleep. And then I thought, oh, my yarn is running out really quickly. I had six balls, which was 300 grams, which was not much. But pretty much hair sweaters usually don't take up that much. So I thought I was good. But I was not good. I think I was about here. And then my ball ran out. And it's like, oh, I order another one. And then I thought, oh, I, the body is still very short. At least, at least I need two more balls. And then I thought, okay, you know what? I do the, do the color. It has a, a nice, it was not a ruffle, but it was definitely an, uh, an edge color. Um, and it had a Pico bind up, which was a drops um, tutorial, which she linked. And because my yarn was thicker, it became quite uh, bulky. Um, 
it wasn't delicate it was just a big thing that was hanging there I'll, I'll, I'll insert pictures as I talk about it so I was like mm, I'm not sure and then I thought you know I think I will start the second sleeve and I'll I did the first sleeve I did uh, increase decreases every 20 rows I thought okay I'll do the other sleeve and do the increase decreases every 10 rows so that will save me some yarn so okay, that that I was I was a, a lot further for sure. So I thought, okay, that is good. Then I tried it on and I thought, I really don't like this. I don't like it at all. I had two sleeves that were halfway my arms and a big uh, floppy thing around my neck. And I was like, I really want to frog it all. Why didn't I just knit a binoculars? That I, I know that is a beautiful pattern and it fits for all kinds of... Um, uh, yarn and uh, I was so depressed I thought oh, what am I gonna do and I looked up the other project pages and many people um, omitted those the the, the the color and some even said that the neckline was quite big and the V is quite low and I thought the same as like it is really I don't know it's and then I thought you know I will frog the the color and somebody said okay I just do an eye cord bind off here an eye cord bind off there and basically I have a cumulus blouse now from petite knit it's like oh yeah I'm going in that direction too so I removed the color which which took me at least 30 grams that was also a thing it took so so much yarn and um, I removed that and then I thought okay Let's see if this is better. I definitely like that better. I also regained the yarn, which gave me a little bit of more hope. Like, okay, maybe I can do it with two extra balls. I just don't want to keep buying and buying and then end up with something I still don't like. So, okay, I uh, finished the, the sleeve. It was, it, it is uh, still a little bit of a, a puffy sleeve, which I liked. And then I thought, okay, let's do the redo the, the first sleeve and do the increases as I should. And then I finished up that, that ball and I needed just a little bit to the cuff and a few more centimeters. And then I thought, I forgot to change back to the large needle size. Oh, okay, I put it on. No, yeah, well, you definitely can see a difference. It was not much, but I ripped it back again. And then it changed to the to the five millimeter because I was still on the on the four and a half for the ribbing. I forgot to change it back. This is really a project that is been ripped so many times. And then with mohair, it is not even a good rippable yarn. Rippable yarn, <laughs> a frogable yarn. Oh, and. And then I redid the neckline. I did an, um, a scalloped edge with a crochet. And for now, I haven't tried it on. I will show you next week um, if I like it or not. It might be 
going to be frogs entirely if I don't like it. But I will show you what how far I got because I did finish both of the sleeves and it is really soft and the color is really gorgeous. So I have long arms. That was also a problem. She said knit to 40 centimeters and then add the cup. But my sleeves need to be 50 centimeters because I have really long arms. So yeah, well, I, I definitely did not want shorter uh, or too short. I really wanted them nice and long to cover my wrists because this is a very warm uh, garment. And when I'm cold, it's probably my hands that are cold and I did not want to um, cut down on the sleeve length to save some yarn. I rather have a little bit of a shorter body, I think. So yeah, this is it is really nice and it, it made a very nice fabric. It's super soft, it's 50% um, mohair and 50% silk. So I have both sleeves, hooray. Nice long cuff. See, and the neckline here you can see probably, maybe not. Let me grab it. Good. See, it has a scalloped edge. That I crochet. Can you even see that? No, you can. So, like I said, I have not tried it on yet. Here you can probably see it better. But it is a wide and a deep V. I'm not really sure what to think about that. Well, there's definitely possibility of wearing a t-shirt underneath. It doesn't have to be low sleep because this is definitely very warm. But it, it, it is definitely a garment that needs something underneath. It is kind of a shame because, yeah, well. If I have enough yarn, when the, the, the yarn comes in, I can always choose to uh, redo the neckline. I have not woven in the ends. I just thought this might need some tweaking. So this is the body. And I put it on the cord because I definitely want to try it on. And hope. It makes my heart sing again because, oh, I knitted so much. I have been knitting like crazy because I thought, okay, this is going really quickly and I can finish this very soon. I want to see how the whole thing comes together. And then you try it on. It's like, oh, I really don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I hope I like it now. I will try it on this week and take some video footage for you. And then I just have to wait for the yarn to arrive. Usually it takes about a week. So I think with the two balls, I'm definitely good. I think I have some left over for, um, for the neckline if I need to do that. Because I will show you the next pattern. And that is an old working project. project work in progress and that was not that doesn't need so much length because I'm wearing skirts now they the, the, the sweaters or the garments should be much shorter to look good which is, uh, saves me a lot of knitting so the, again this is the chambray pullover shirt top blouse whatever it is so I have been putting away my Birkin, the second Birkin I made, to be the revised pattern, because I did not like the neckline. So it has been laying in my yarn room and I was rummaging around there and I thought, I don't like projects just laying there, you know. Um, the iron needs to be frogged or something needs to be done with it. It's like they they keep using up your energy. They just keep wanting your attention. So um, I think I, I have some pictures of you, how the neckline looked before I did anything. And it was still unblocked. So I tried it on now. I, I blocked the garment and I still was not happy with it. I will, I will show you in the picture. Um, I'm not sure if I 
talked with the video I made, but what I did, I um, I put in a needle and frogged the whole neckline, which went pretty well. I definitely have some video footage of that, so you can see how I did that. Then I um, had stitches on the needle, which was quite a lot. It was 162 stitches for a neckline, which is pretty wide. But I know it, it the, the yoke just kept creeping up. I can pull it down and then the neckline looks very nice. Um, the light is very blowing. It's blowing out a lot. Because I think we got some sun now. Let me check if I can. The neckline, that's what I just talked about. Um, I did no uh, finishing. I just did a few short rows in the back. And in the end, I think two or three rounds. So I removed quite a bit. Um, so if I pull down the yoke, it fitted nicely. If I move my arms, the yoke just crept up. So I thought, okay, if I eliminate a lot of fabric here in the neck, the yoke just can stay up a little bit, but, uh, bit because that doesn't matter. It was still um, a good, a good depth. So, um, well, I redid the neckline, and now it is rolling over, but that is totally fine because it is unblocked. And I used also used uh, of the yarn, the crinkly yarn, so it is does not look so neat. See, it's rolling over. This is the back. This is the front, see? So it is probably quite wide, but I'm not sure. I will try it on first. I might uh, want to um, add a crochet edging, maybe a pico edging. But I tried that, but it, it rolled so much that I thought, okay, let's just do, let's just accept the rolling and and hope that, that it fits better because that's, that's way more important than, um, how the neckline is exactly uh, finished off. Okay, so a rolled neckline is also okay, I guess, because this is also pulling up your attention and um, the neckline doesn't need that much, I guess. So I tried it on again because I thought, okay, the length, it was a really long, uh, really long garment. And, um, it, it was it was really long and after I blocked it, it definitely grew even more because it is a super wash yarn. It's just uh, my uh, basic sock yarn, um, which I use for my hand dyeing. So yeah, I, I could frog I at least 25 centimeters or something like that. I put it on my skirt like this and then I thought, oh, that looks... This is also too long for on the skirt, but it's, it's okay. But you kind of lose the shaping if you if you have it too long. You become just one big blob, I guess. I, or I, you need a bit more waist shaping or a, a shorter garment is probably a good thing. My dog is just watching me. <laughs> What's mommy doing? 
So yeah, I found a lot. So in the end, it is, this is going to be a cropped garment, see? And I am start. I am working on the ribbing. And I, I think this is uh, this is very nice. I need to get used to um, the shorter garments because I used to wear pants only. And I uh, I have uh, a few skirts now. I bought some uh, very cheap skirts from um, the website Temu. And they are not um, high quality, but they are um, nice skirts. Um, and I think uh, I just wanted to try out uh, some different shapes, what looks best. Um, and I thought I, I just, uh, if, if it doesn't fit, then I can use the, 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 the fabric to make perfect bags or whatever. Because skirts have quite a lot of fabric. And most skirts uh, that I buy are, are my ankle length for me, which are, is very long because I'm uh, uh, 1.8 meters. So that is, uh, that is a lot of fabric. But so far, they all fit nicely. And some things, some look better than others. I think, it, again, it's um, um, this one has a, a ruffled bottom. And that is... Um, uh, mid calf length. I wish it was a little bit longer, but it looks it looks good. I also have one with uh, three um, sections. I think that breaks up the legs in in too many sections to uh, have the yeah. I don't know how to to tell you that, but I think that needs a very plain a uh, top to compensate for the break up. Uh, from the bottom part of the body. So yeah, I'm experimenting. I'm enjoying it, wearing skirts. It's uh, it's it. Uh, yeah, I just really like the look. I never felt really comfortable wearing them for various reasons. But um, yeah, I'm in the middle of a, a totally different life, and I can I can uh, change up and. You, you kind of have to wear what, what makes you feel um, comfortable or what makes you feel pretty. And yeah, that, that is, that is a, something in the middle you probably end up with. But what I want to say about skirts, I can use them as a blueprint. You can put them on fabric. I have a lot of fabric and then I can uh, uh, recreate them very easily because skirts are just... They have these have all elastic waists and that is so so super simple. You just can use the, the original skirt as a pattern piece actually. So then I can use some thicker fabrics for the winter, or um, yeah, maybe a different. Um, there is a lot of polyester in the uh, Chinese brands and um, yeah, if you want to go for woolen or cotton or linen. And that's that. That's that's something I'm looking forward to. So, yeah. And we talked about everything today. I'm very happy you checked in with me. I'm very thankful for everybody who's watching. So thank you very very much. Maybe I'm not always very good in expressing my gratitude, but I am. I am very grateful, and I always enjoyed so much talking to you all. So I hope to see you next week on another Monday talk about yarn and, and clothes and making. And um, hope to see you soon. Bye bye.